Welcome to our great team of professional employees. We're proud of our company and our employees. Our success is built around teamwork and professionalism. Today's short program is an overview of your safety responsibilities to help you perform your job safely and efficiently. Safety is a responsibility that's important to you, the company, and your fellow employees. Our basic safety policy is simply this. We don't have any job that can't be performed safely. Don't take shortcuts or risks. There's only one way to perform your job. If it can't be done safely, we don't want you to do it. That's our policy and your obligation. Accident and injury statistics compiled over the last 50 years throughout the world have revealed that 85 to 98 percent of all accidents are caused by unsafe acts of employees such as taking shortcuts, violating safety rules or job procedures. If you commit one of these unsafe acts, the company has the responsibility to provide counseling. This means you will be instructed in the unsafe act, what action is required by you to prevent similar unsafe acts, and the time allowed for you to correct this unsafe behavior. Continued demonstrations of unsafe acts may result in disciplinary action. We're serious about safety and expect you to perform every job every day safely. Okay, let's review the basics of job safety. Report to work rested, alert, and fit to give your full attention to your job. Of course, alcohol and drug use is prohibited on the premises, as are the residual results of their off-duty use. This policy is established in order to ensure all of our employees have a safe environment in which to work. Violation of this policy can result in immediate termination of your employment. If you are taking drugs prescribed by a physician, report this use to your supervisor before beginning work. Let's talk a bit about equipment safety. If you're required to operate any type of equipment, wait until you have been trained and authorized by the company. We have an obligation to train you regardless of your past experience or familiarity with the equipment. If you are an equipment operator, you should make sure all guards are in their proper place before operating the equipment. You should also know the location of all emergency stop buttons and the equipment they operate. Of course, never place your hand or any other parts of your body onto operating equipment for any reason. It is your responsibility as a machine operator to make sure the area is cleared of any employee that is standing nearby before you turn on the equipment. Don't leave a machine running that is unattended. Never adjust or perform maintenance on any machine while it is in motion. Of course, keep your work area clean. Don't let metal shavings, wood, or other material clutter your work area. Should any of your tools or equipment malfunction or become unsafe to use, notify your supervisor immediately. Electrical safety is equally important. Water is an everyday potential hazard. Therefore, you should be alert for any electrical hazards and never use electrical tools or equipment near water. Report hazards to your supervisor, particularly damaged electrical switches, plugs, cords, receptacles, or electrical tools. Most electrical tools and equipment have a third prong on the electrical plug. This prong is a grounding device to protect you from electrical shock in the event of a short or malfunction. Be sure the ground prong is not broken off as this could result in an injury. Some electrical hand tools do not have the ground prong as they provide protection from double insulation inside the tool. Now, if the tool does not state double insulated, it must have that third prong or ground on the plug. Okay, let's now review personal protective equipment. Follow your company procedures and what equipment is required for each specific job. Eye protection comes in many forms, such as a variety of safety glasses, goggles, chemical face shields, welding eye protection. Your supervisor selects the proper eye protection for the hazard. However, the most important part of eye protection is for you to wear it when it's provided. Dress for work. Don't wear torn or loose-fitting clothing that can get caught in moving machinery. If you work around moving machinery, don't wear gloves. Gloves can be caught and pulled into the moving parts, causing a serious injury. When working with chemicals, always wear proper protective clothing and eye protection. 
Chemicals are to be handled only by employees who have been trained and authorized to do so. There is a material safety data sheet available for each chemical or hazardous material used, which can be obtained through your supervisor. The time to have your questions about hazardous chemicals is before you begin to use them. Confine long hair under a net or a cap. Keep it tied back, as long hair can also get caught in moving machinery. Now remember, these are the basics of job safety. If you're not sure about something, check with your supervisor. Fire prevention is another important part of each employee's responsibility. Learn where the fire extinguishers are located and how to use them. Make sure you know where the exits are located and they aren't blocked. In the event of a fire, personal safety is the most important concern. If time permits and you can extinguish a fire safely, then that's the thing to do. However, don't take chances. If there is any doubt about your safety, leave the area and the fire suppression activities to the professionals. These next few tips can reduce accidents if you practice them on a daily basis. Don't use chairs, boxes, or makeshift platforms to reach high places. Use a ladder that is specifically designed for that purpose. Never use a ladder that is broken or defective. Inspect it before you use it. Never stand on the top two steps of any step ladder. Standing on the top two steps of any ladder is dangerous because you overextend the center of gravity of the ladder and it can easily tip over. Don't jump off ladders or platforms. Step down slowly. A sprained ankle or a broken leg can take a long time to heal and taking chances just isn't worth it. Slips and falls injure more people than any other type of accident. Watch where you're walking and pay attention to potential hazards such as wet or slippery floors, torn carpets or tile. Watch for a change in elevations of the floor and of course don't run at work. It's okay to be in a hurry but it's not okay to disregard safety and take chances. Use only authorized walkways or aisles especially in warehouses or around machinery. When you walk up or down stairs, always hold the handrail. In the event you slip or trip, you'll have the handrails to prevent a fall. The next safety tip is how to prevent back injuries. You'll receive more training from your supervisor, but these are the basics. Now, most back injuries are the result of improper lifting, stretching your back muscles, or twisting your back. The backs is a complex and delicate part of your body. It's composed basically of vertebrae or bones, discs, and nerves. The discs act as shock absorbers between the bones and prevent the nerves from being pinched. The basic lifting technique is to keep your discs in their proper position between the bones. When you bend your back, the discs are pinched and can be damaged. Now you've heard it many times, bend your knees, not your back. When you lift anything, no matter how heavy it is, get a good grip bend your legs and use your leg muscles to lift the load not your back muscles we realize there are thousands of lifting requirements that don't always permit you to bend your legs as if you're picking up a box just keep in mind how your discs protect the nerves and use your leg power keeping your back as straight as possible now if you can't bend your legs use one hand to provide additional support for your back or use your legs as a brace for support Stretching while lifting anything can stretch or tear ligaments in your back. These tears are quite painful and take quite a long time to repair. You can prevent strains by not stretching when you're lifting. Twisting your back while lifting can be extremely dangerous. Remember the discs in bones and nerves? Well, make it a rule never to twist your body when lifting. You're the only one who can prevent back injuries. Now, if you have the right attitude about safety and think about safety when you're lifting, you can always prevent back injuries. If you're injured on the job, you must report the accident or injury to your supervisor immediately, even if you think you don't need medical treatment. Report all accidents, near misses, and injuries immediately when they occur. Medical treatment, if required, will be provided. However, supervision and management must be made aware when an accident or injury does occur. As you can see in this short program, safety is really nothing more than common sense and thinking about safety. It's called safety awareness, and it does work. 
It takes an effort on your part to keep safety foremost in your mind when you perform any job, at work or at home. Safety doesn't slow you down, it doesn't make your job more difficult, and it doesn't require a lot of technical skill. It does prevent accidents and injuries, and it makes your job easier in the long run. You're a more professional and efficient employee when you don't cause accidents or injuries. We care about each individual and want you to be successful in your job. Safety is part of that responsibility. Take the time for safety, because it really does make a difference. Thank you.